got you guys just like have the best job in the history of the world because everything that people watch and and all this entertainment you're like hey that's all fake but we're gonna actually bring it to life <laughs> i love we're, it we're gonna make it real i love yeah. it yeah. super good you guys have like 14.5 million subscribers yeah. on YouTube. Yeah, buddy. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. And you said you have like 16 acres or something. Yeah, it's about 18 acres. 18 of land. acres, and you guys just blow stuff up. We, just we, have can, fun. we can get away with a lot. <laughs> <laughs>
So we made this like two layered blade. So it'd go up, the electricity would go up the tungsten and then back down the titanium. So you could have a solid like, you know, red hot, orange hot blade at like two and a half, 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. Um, and then that would be able to melt through a bunch of different metals. And you know, you could actually fight them. You can clash them against each other. We did, we did a whole fight scene, which was, Really sketchy, but uh, a lot sketchy. of fun. I saw, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. You got to be careful with those things, right? That thing's we can, no we can literally kill each other. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw another one where you guys were doing like some kind of a sleeve, and you were putting like titanium strips mm -hmm. in yep. it and stuff. What was that? That was the cap or the Winter Soldier arm. It was a wetsuit that we layered. Uh, that was just Kevlar, right? That was just Kevlar. Kevlar, yeah. titanium, and then put some carbide inserts in the hands to like shatter glass and <laughs> cut things. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Why not? We yeah. never actually got to test that because just weeks before, I think it was like the same week we were planning on doing the testing for yeah. that footage, um, James broke his hand. Hmm. And that was probably one of our worst injuries on uh, like on- Timing wise. And, and, and like no, it no, wasn't even from our- one of the worst our, injuries within like our company. company like oh. With the work yeah. that we do. Got you. And, and it wasn't from our project. Oh. It was from a different video. We were filming a baseball cannon. Yes. And we we're trying to, you know, beat the world's fastball record. Um, and so James and Ian went to uh, a professional MLB pitcher okay. to see what it would be like to hit a 90 mile an hour fastball. Oh, man. And turns out neither of them have ever played baseball before. <laughs> and uh, trying to hit a 90 mile an hour baseball without ever having held a bat in your hand before was not a great idea. What? <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, the thing moves. Yeah, the, the pitcher threw a little bit inside and they weren't familiar with, you know, moving off the plate. Trajectory of the ball or trying to move off the plane. So he tried to swing for it and it hit him right in the pinky. Ouch. Right in the fifth metal car pole, just shattered his bone. Um, and so he had to go and get a titanium plate installed in his hand and oh, he couldn't film Would, the, uh, see, that would have been a collaboration. We could have made it, made <laughs> yeah, it, made it, made it, made it. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Good call. <laughs> yeah. Swiss machines right there. That's yeah. it. I like watching, um, the video on the spider. Yep. Like that, yeah. I mean, when you look at that picture and you just see this thing is, it is out of like a movie, you know, and it looks so sick. So sick. But then seeing that, you know, it went from having the buckets to the, the feet and then the one leg breaks and you guys just as you said talk about the problems and like it was it was actually phenomenal man you guys yeah. did a great job on that what a big project too but it's like you put so much time into some of these things that you develop i was like do you guys work with the military are you guys creating products are you like but then when you are a youtube channel you can only do so much on one thing and spend so much time on one thing totally without the funding and stuff so it's like you almost have to like take it to a point and then be be willing to just discard it and move to the next and move to the next and move to the next so yeah i think that was i think both mine and ben's like favorite video because it was very different uh, video structure to our typical videos, right? Where we just like talk about the engineering, build it, test it, cool. Whereas for this one, we went back and forth for an entire year of like the engineering and the video side. We were supposed to be three videos in, uh, initially and then we're like, oh, we'll do a build video and a test video. And then we're like, no, we want to do the best we can. We scrapped everything. <laughs> we basically went back to step zero and we're like, we'll keep the B-roll, we'll keep the build footage, but we really want to tell the story, right? We really want this to be to show like the ups and downs of it. We we want to show that whole process of like, as an engineer, what are you doing is problem solving. Yeah, right? correct. You're trying to figure out, you're doing troubleshooting, you're trying to figure out how do we do this as efficiently as possible, but also how do we overcome the challenges and the difficulties? Yeah, man. Right, and encouraging people to be like, try it, fail, see what happens, learn something from it, and then apply that right back into it. Great call. And every yeah. one of our projects is just a huge new learning opportunity is something that none of us have done before. So we're starting from ground zero and, you know, learning new skills, learning new, new equipment every single time. Well, no wonder you guys are so great. See, that's what you do. We, we break tools, we break things, and you just, you learn to, when you get to a certain level, you you, you got to lean off a little bit, Absolutely. you know? That's it. Then just understand, don't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. The leg, leg breaks and then you guys fix the leg, then it, the same leg breaks again, but in a different way, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good so like what oh, so, so that good. was your guys' favorite right there and that was big it was, that was number one big. Was 21 by 25 feet when Jeez. it was standing and uh, yeah. it could go up to about 11 feet tall Come if on. you had it standing all the way up that is nuts even within the scope of an individual project it's so really important to show the ups and downs to show that we tried things and it didn't work yeah and we fought through it we analyzed it we troubleshooted we figured out how to solve these problems that we ran yeah. into. Yeah. Good Even within, within the scope of life and within the scope of an individual project, you're yeah. gonna run into things that are gonna try to get you down and you just 
got to fight for it. You got to find a way around it. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right. Yeah, because it does. Everything ebbs and flows. And then you know what? If you keep looking backwards, you can't move forward, right? Mm-hmm. And, they, and you, once that once what's done is done, keep keep looking to push forward. And and life is levels. You know, I always say that. I say that to you. I'm like, there's yeah. levels to this game. Yeah. And it, and it, if you've never been on that level, you have no comprehension of the level. But once you solve the problem, and somebody else is having the same problem, you can actually go over there and help them be the solution.